Hello again. Well, in the last video we started putting azimuths on lines and I got up to the forward azimuth from 2 to 3. So we put north we put north on 2. This is always good to do um, so you don't get confused. I still do it. So put north here and this is assumed north. So we got this azimuth here. We said was 75 degrees. Now we want to get the back azimuth. 3 to 2. So then we can add on the angle to get to the azimuth from 3 to 4. So we have the azimuth from 2 to 3 is 75 degrees. So we have to add 180 to that to get the back azimuth going this way from 3 to 2, 180 degrees. So that's 5, 5, 1, 155 degrees. Sorry. 255 degrees. This is supposed to be one here. 255 degrees. So now we have to add this angle 110, this interior angle 110, to get the azimuth from 3 to 4. But as you can see, it's probably going to be over 365 degrees again. So, um, so it's going to change. So we're going to have to then subtract the 360 like we did before. So add the angle 110 degrees. This is 5, this is 6, and this is 3. Two, 365 degrees. So what does that mean? Minus 360, we're going to get the forward azimuth from 3 to 4 as 5 degrees, right? 5 degrees. So now we want to get the azimuth, the back azimuth from 4 to 3. So we have to add 180. So the back azimuth, 4 to 3, is equal to 185 degrees. So now we're going this way. That's the back azimuth. We said the forward azimuth of this line, because we're writing down the forward azimuth. We said the forward azimuth was forward azimuth is equal to 5 degrees. Five degrees. Okay, so the back azimuth. I mean, sorry. So the forward azimuth. Yeah, right. The back azimuth from three to four is 185. So the forward azimuth from four to one. We have to add 105 degrees. We have to add this angle. We're going this way. We have to add 105 degrees to start going this way. So it looks to me like we're not going to have to subtract 360 here. So the forward azimuth from 4 to 1, so it's 4 to 1, is equal to 0, 1, 9, 2. 290 degrees. This azimuth is equal to 290 degrees. Okay, so we have the azimuth on every side, but let's check. If we use this angle, this extra angle, we can check to see if we get this angle, right? If it's to see, I mean, to see if we get this azimuth. We should get, if we add 60 degrees from the back azimuth going this way, all right, so we have to compute that, we will get 170 degrees. So let's try that. So add 180. We're going to have to you know, subtract 360 from this now. 
So 0, 9, this is 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 470, minus 360, move down, minus 360, zero one one a hundred and ten degrees this is the azimuth's going this way going this way this way is a hundred and ten degrees that's from back azimuth one to four so now the forward azimuth 1 to 2 should be what? 110 degrees plus 60 which is 170 degrees so the forward azimuth 1 to 2 is 170 degrees so we can check that we did our math correctly we went all the way around started off with 170 we finished with 170 Now we know how that works. You can see that it does, you know, you do a lot of adding and subtracting, so it's good to keep this kind of in order and then you can go back through and check and see if you made a mistake. We didn't make any mistakes, but these I'm keeping these angles um, fairly simple so, so I can do the math easier. But we need to do this computation. This is the start um, of turning our field measurements into coordinates. So once we get an azimuth on every side then we can start making coordinate computations. So I'll start, I'll go into that right now. Actually let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video right now. I'm going to start a whole other one. We're going to use the same traverse though. I'm going to kind of clean this up and I'm going to make put an azimuth, a forward azimuth on every side and then we'll start turning these uh, azimuths and, and I'm going to put distances on here. We're going to turn those into coordinates. See you in the next video.